Hey everybody, this is Brian Pex. I've got a video tutorial here on creating alpha channels in Photoshop that you can then use for selections and then ultimately masks. Okay, I'm going to get right to it here. This is a picture of a crane that was taken in Boston, Massachusetts. This picture was taken specifically for this reason because it's a very complex, complex uh, structure with lots of fine details such as these... Uh, grates here for the uh, crane operators to walk on plus you got little cables this little uh windshield wiper here i think that's the crane operator's foot maybe not anyway that doesn't matter and then you have these uh cables right here all right i'm gonna go back to uh full screen mode by hitting command zero and i'm gonna go up get right to it go to image calculations and we are presented with this box here and this has two different sources and then it gives us blending mode options and then of course the output what we want to do with the output in this case we're going to leave it as new new uh channel all right first things first we are going to choose our source number one and from experience i know red against source number two being blue works well when you have things against a blue sky so i'm going to choose blue as the source number two and red is number one and you can see what works what you have to play around with this to get different results with uh, different images but i know from experience that red against the blue sky and the blue being inverted works well now we also have this option down here multiply all the blending options in it which was on multiply but i know also from experience these blending modes the light and blend modes plus or and the add blend mode which you can see here add is there for a reason they work well in situations like this so we're going to try light and first see how that works out pretty good because ultimately what we want we want this gray to be black and the crane to be completely white so we can select it right out of the sky. All right, I'm going to remember that one. That looks pretty good. Let's see the screen. That's better on the crane, but the sky is a little bit too light gray. Color dodge. Very nice, but this bottom down here gets all funky, so that's, that's a no-go. Linear add. That's very interesting. That's a nice... That could be a possible let's see the grates here I'm trying to get every little bit of detail those seem to be missing there and then we're going to go to lighter color and that is definitely not going to be used so oops since we had that linear dodge ad looking good i'm going to go down to add by itself because that yes exactly i can see a little bit more detail here so that's how we're going to start off offset let's try negative 100 to darken things up and then scale put at one these are things you just have to experiment with i think i'm going to go with that right there to start off i'm going to hit okay now that's going to create alpha channel over here on the channels panel i'm going to make a copy of this just be so just so i have two in case i want to experiment with two different channels you can always get rid of one later on and also when you make adjustments to the channels once you do it you can't go back so it's good to have a duplicate copy so i'm going to hit command l here for the levels command to come up and if you notice here the histogram is way over here where where I wanted it to be because now I have a lot of room to bring this black point over and darken up the uh, sky. I'm gonna bring it way over here, and I want that to be pure black. Now the sky is looking good, but the crane obviously we have a lot of gray left in it, so we're gonna have to bring the white point slider over to the left. And the histogram, once we get to that second bump, is when you'll start seeing big changes. It's looking good. And I'll stop there. 
Because I don't know if you can see it, but there's some... The sky's starting to break up a little bit here, so I'm going to have to go back to the black slider. Bring that over to the right. And I think that looks pretty good right there. As far as we're going to go with the levels. Anyway, maybe I can bring the gray point slider a little right. Because the back of these weights right here are black, and we want them to be white. We want them fully selected. So... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to bring these to the left. But I don't want to do that because the sky is breaking up. So I'm going to leave them right at 1, right in the middle. I'm going to hit OK. Now we're going to test our mask with the magic wand tool. I have my tolerance set to 0, meaning that only pure black will be selected. And as you can see, the mask looks black, but it obviously isn't. So the magic wand tool is very, very useful for that. I'm going to hit deselect and we're going to go right back into a levels command, command L. But as you can see, the histogram's different now. It doesn't go back to how it was. This is a whole new histogram, which is good because we want to adjust this without having that fragmentation show up. So I'm going to drag this over slightly. I don't want to go too far because we don't have that much room to play here. And the white. This is all experimental. You have to kind of get used to doing this. You get to hang it after a while. All right, now let's go with the magic wand tool again. And now, say everything now is black. That should be black. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, I'm going to deselect and use the paintbrush tool, B. A brush I don't need a brush that big I'm gonna go down smaller size not that small all right 100% I'm gonna go to overlay paint mode that is key here because when you're in overlay paint mode when you paint over here on the black nothing shows up it'll only affect lighter grays or gray and white so what I want to do the areas that I know that I want white I'm gonna paint over like that but I hit that grate right there. I didn't want to do that. Let me make my brush much hotter than that. Actually, I'll put it at 100%. There's no reason not to in this case. I'm going to hit there. Oops. Side of the crane right here. And this front part here also oops that windshield washer windshield wiper and then our cables those are fine but I'm just going over them anyway and there we have it now I'm going to select this channel go back over the layers panel and I'm going to apply a layer mask I'm going to hit M for the marquee tool, right click inside this window and duplicate layer. And I'm going to duplicate it onto the other document, which is, I know is this one right here, 629. Okay. And now we're going to go look over the, into that sky cloud document. And there it is. There's the crane. Beautifully masked against this sky. But not perfect. We have to do a few things here very quickly. Number one, we're going to make a copy of this layer by hitting Command J. We're going to shut this top one off. We're going to change this one to multiply. That'll bring out the dark areas for us that we need. And then we'll turn back on the top layer to finish it out. Now we're going to do a little selection, look around, because what that does is the multiply blend mode brings back in. Let me show you why I did that. When I had it on normal, it kind of this stuff kind of gets washed out. So the multiply blend mode will bring that stuff back, and the on top of it, the normal blend mode will finish it up for us. 
But the problem here here is we have a little bit of fringing on the crane, and we're going to fix that right now by going to the top layer mask and select hit the uh, refined edge of selected mask and just go down and hit de decontaminate colors and that little fringe will disappear and we're also going to feather this about a half a pixel just to really fill it in to make it look really nice because any more than that's too much yeah we're going to go hey, you know what maybe about a, maybe about a pixel let's say a pixel there we go now let's look around. Perfect. Perfectly masked. Right down to that little wiper blade. Look at that. Simply cannot do it any other way in Photoshop. And that's it. That's uh, creating mask by channels and channels by using the calculations command. I hope this was somewhat explainable, somewhat well explained, and have a wonderful day, and keep shooting. Have a good one.